What's up folks? We're at Pandan today. Again. Um, okay, here, so here's the thing. The plan today is a bit unique. A uh, few things. I brought my tripod out. I've got two GoPros today. I'm also on a different side of Pandan. As you can see. Alright, normally I'm on the Penjuru side, which is right over there. Uh, that's the Penjuru side. This is the Pandan Garden side. And of course, right up front, um, on the other side, that's the Jalan Buro side. I don't really know what this side should be called. I'm just going to call it the canal side. And I, I fished on the canal side maybe, I don't know, five times? It's, a, it's significantly shorter than all the other sides in terms of how long the stretch is in which you can legally fish. But I figured today I'm going to try to do something interesting. Got my tripod, going to get some different angles of footage. And of course, as usual, I'm going to be talking about um, all the tips and, 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 and talk about what I'm doing and stuff. But um, yeah, so just a little bit of extra stuff today. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to get set up here. As you can see, I just passed the, the legal area spot. So I'm just going to get set up right here and... Well, we'll see how it goes. I'll pick it up when I've got everything set up. Alright, so in the vein of uh, doing things different, I'm going to try something that I have never tried before. That is based on a concept of something I have tried before. Uh, you take a look at this. This is uh, just a simple bucktail, right? What I have done here is I have tied a fly. To the end of that bucktail now give, given credit where it is due where i got the idea from this was watching one of lake fog guy's videos i think it was one of his uh uh amazon videos and it was just like for a split second um he lifted his bucktail out of the water and i noticed that there was something sticking out the back now i'm pretty sure this has been done uh many times uh by various different people but this is certainly the first time um, I've tried it out and I'm going to see if that actually translates to anything worth talking about. Alright, so the main issue we face on the canal side of Pandan is accessibility. It is significantly harder to access. There are less areas in which you can climb down. It's, I would even go so far as to say it's a bit more dangerous. Um, of course, there are many different ways to work a bucktail and the reason why I'm working it this way is because I don't want the bucktail hitting the bottom at all. If it kisses a rock, I'm screwed. Oh, there we go. Nice, smally. So you see, what, what this um, fly does is it acts as a kind of a trailer hook of sorts for my bucktail and not to mention it also adds the it also serves the function of giving the fish something else to target just see if I can get that for the camera first fish of the day and there we go So now because of this, the, the camera setup and all the angles that I'm, I'm doing today with the tripod and all that, rather than picking one lure and uh, working across an entire area, because normally what I do is I pick a lure, I work down a given stretch and only when I'm done with that stretch then I switch up the lures to something else. But since I have pretty much to move all my gear every time I move a spot what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work probably two to three different kinds of layoffs per spot you know just to try to give me that kind of coverage to see whether I can figure something out without having to move my equipment every five minutes okay I kind of changed spots I kind of moved down a 
a meter or so because what the hell is wrong with my casting today? Because I realized that just a couple of meters down from where I was initially standing, which was right about there, there's this place that's much easier for me to get down. Okay, so same thing with the crankbait. I'm starting off working the, the banks. Nice slow crank, pausing if I hit a big rock. Alright, time for a change. micro grubs, twin tail grub. Alright folks, so I'm shifting spots. I'm gonna walk a little bit further down and, and set up and start again. I made a little mistake uh, in that first spot, which is a mistake that I rarely make, but I don't know why I made it today. Maybe I've got too many things to deal with, with all the tripod and stuff like that. But I started with the bucktail, then I went with the crankbait, and then I went with the micro rubber. Now, whenever you're in a new spot, whenever you're trying to explore a spot, especially when you're junk fishing or when you're using, um, working many different kinds of lures, you want to start with the lure that creates the least movement, in which case it should be the micro grub. So it should be the micro grub first, followed by the bucktail and then followed by the crankbait in that order. Because if you start with the crankbait first, that's going to be moving so much water that if there are any fish in the area that are skittish they're just gonna they're just gonna get out of there and that's gonna make working a micro grub pretty useless pretty futile if you do it after working a, a crankbait all right anyway let's get to it oh, oh. That was not a fish. That was really weird. Maybe a fish kind of nipped at it and pulled it behind a rock, but I don't know if, if the camera captured that, but something definitely pulled. That wasn't one of those setting the hook into a rock situations. Something definitely pulled on it, then I set it, and then it was a rock. Oh, there we go. Ah, small zebra. These guys have a nasty habit of pooping on, on you when you grab them like that. But anyway. Well, that was my bad. Not ideal, not an ideal release at all. So you see, the thing with, with micro grubs is, I already know that micro grubs work in pandan. Uh, it works on any side of pandan, which is also the reason why I'm looking to try other techniques. Because I always know that with micro grubs, it's like a, it's something that I can come back to knowing that if I don't get anything, it's like cheating, right? Because micro grubs, anything in pandan eats micro grubs. You know, red devils, zebras, PBs, walking catfish, anything eats micro grubs and, you know, it's kind of my go-to if I'm worried about getting a zero fighter session. Oh, 
got one. Them micro grubs. Just slaying the zebras. All right, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna grab this guy nice and hard this time. All right, zebra number two. Now I think the wind direction is really helping me here in terms of presentation, allowing me to work the grub a lot slower, letting me pause it for significantly longer periods. I'm pretty sure, oh man, that was a bite. I'm pretty sure that this much slower presentation is what's getting me all the bites, if you notice. I've been getting, I got the last two bites facing in this direction and the wind is going this way. So that's the theory, that's the working theory at the moment. Oh, another bite. Damn, what, what is going on here? Is that like a school of zebras here or something? I mean, they are small zebras, but fish nonetheless, and pound for pound, I don't know of a fish that fights as hard as a zebra. And again, and again. Whatever that thing is, it's really chasing my micro rubber down. Right, I'm gonna take a small risk here and retrieve it real slow. Hope I don't get stuck. Oh, that's another. What is what is going on down there? You see that? The risk of going real slow when the wind is against you. But the bites, man, it just gets the bites. I've gotten at least one to two taps every single cast. There's definitely something down there. I'm starting to think it might be a bit too small for my micro grub. There we go. Let's see what kind of size we're talking. Look at that. Oh. Look at that little. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. Look at that little fella. Now that's why I was having a hard time. Just look at my line. It's being pulled all over the place. The minute the minute I make it into that strike zone. My line's being pulled all over the place. There we go, finally got him. Little guys. Look at that the entire tail off all right folks moving on to the next spot I think I'm on to a pattern which frankly isn't a surprising pattern at all the pattern is micro grubs for today uh, the bucktail wasn't working too well crankbait wasn't working well at all I don't think maybe I got like one tap on the crankbait but anyway, I'm slowly making my way down, as you can see, slowly my, make, making my way down this stretch. If I remember correctly, the legal ground should terminate in about 150 meters. So once I hit there, uh, if I still have time, then I'll make my way uh, down the Jalanburo side to the Panjuru side. Uh, looking at that. Okay, I think I may have enough time to pick one or the other. Um, I might just go all the way to Panjuru. We'll see how it goes. Oh, same deal. 
along this whole stretch, all the small ones. Maybe this is the small fish side of Pandan. This is a nicer one. Oh, much nicer one. Oh, wow. What is that, a chromite? I think that's what it's called. I think it's a chromite. guy out. Oh, he's in there good. Okay. All right, nice little chromite. Well, that guy put up a pretty good fight. goes again. You know what? It might be a it might be a pair of chromites. I've got a bite around the same point. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. That's the nicest one yet. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yes, that's a nice one. Look at that. Finally a decent size op it. Alright folks, that's all for today, uh, it was a pretty good day actually, I think what was it, I got like four small opics, one 
small PV, one decent sized PV, and one pretty big all plate. So all in all, uh, as you can see, I'm not staying until last light. Um, kind of got some B-roll and just decided to call it. Pandan is just way too big. My aspirations to walk around Pandan to get to the other side, nah, not happening. Not today. Anyway, I hope this experiment went well with the whole tripod and all that. I'll see, I'll see all the footage when I'm editing this video and hopefully I can give a fresh perspective of fishing the same location. And uh, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Share my videos with your friends if you learned something and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Tight lines, guys. Ah, decent size peacock on a little brush hog.